When most people think of deserts, hot, sandy, lifeless places come to mind. But these habitats boast a wealth of life. Many people call these diverse places home. One of them is a small Chinese family living in the land their ancestors have called their home for thousands of years. They are farmers working from dawn to dusk each day. For decades, this has been their routine. But the earth is warming, and their fragile state of life is in trouble. A young girl shovels gouges dry, firm soil, digging trenches for her family crops. Her Chinese town used to get rain often, but for the past few years, none has come. And when the rain leaves, so does most life. The crops the girls' village used to grow were vital to their income, but after a few parched years, there is nothing left. But a few sandy houses and a handful of starving people. 2014 has been a rough year for the Chinese farmers. Living on a lush plateau, sandstorms have beat up their barren land and killing their crops. Their village is in turmoil and its people are powerless. Watching the crops die year after year, the scary thing is. It's just the beginning. Sand blows across the dry, barren landscape of the extremely poor village. The only residents left are a few hopeful people living off food their government gives them. The year of 2050, and the deserts cover a large chunk of the earth. If nothing happens, this will get worse and worse. But you can help prevent this. Swap cars for bikes and reusable water bottles and cups. Don't overuse your air conditioning and heating. Plant trees. In China and Africa, people are turning deserts into a healthy forest and cropland by planting trees. You can restore a damaged habitat and fight back global warming. If we do this. We'll be a step further in saving our planet.